Hi, Otto here for Bavarian Autosport. Today, we're going to be talking about fault code diagnostics and the new C-Reader 6 fault code diagnostic tool, which also reads live engine sensor data. We'll be using this tool in the OBD2 diagnostic port on this BMW. The tool will show us not only the fault codes, but the live sensor data and the freeze data around where the fault code was generated so we can better diagnose why the fault code happened. Come on along with us and we'll plug this tool in and get started. Now we're ready to plug in the diagnostic tool. Again, we have the C-Reader 6 tool. We have the plug for the tool and the port on the vehicle is right here under the dash. We have a little door that we pull down and the port is right here. We'll take our plug, insert it into the port, and we so we have the plug fully into the port. We're all set there. We have the tool, which is already on, being in the port, but we need to turn the ignition on to read the codes. So we'll go ahead and do that now. We don't need to start the engine, just turn the ignition on. Okay, so now we have our initial screen and it's set on Diagnose. We're going to hit the Enter arrow and it's reading the vehicle systems. And now it's telling us we're into the systems. It's reading what the vehicle systems are. And we'll hit Enter again. And now we have the menu with a choice of read codes, erase codes, uh, I am readiness, which is telling you whether you're ready for an emissions test yet, if all the readiness uh, parameters have been satisfied, live data stream, freeze frame data, which will tell us what was happening around the time that any uh, fault codes were generated, and live sensor test data. Right now we're going to read the codes. We know that this vehicle has codes. So we're on read codes. We'll hit enter. We want to read the current DTCs or diagnostic test codes. We'll hit enter again. And this tells us we have a P0174 one of one, meaning one fault code, the first fault code out of one fault code. So that's all that there is in the system. And down below it reads system two lean on bank two. Now that's telling us that cylinders four through six are running too lean according to what the oxygen sensor is reading. Now what we can also do is go back, see if there are any pending codes meaning ones that haven't stored solidly yet, but kind of like the vehicle is thinking about these ones, seeing if it wants to actually generate a code. Hit enter. And we have no pending codes. So we'll go back. And uh, we don't have any permanent codes on this vehicle either. And now we'll look at the freeze frame data. What was happening when that fault code was generated? So we'll go down to freeze frame, hit enter, and we're going to read ECU1. And we're looking for data. Now we have the fault code P0174 uh, and fuel system 1 status and 2 status clear. Uh, the fault code happened when we had a calculated load value of 19% load, engine coolant temperature, and we'll keep on going for the next screen. Here we have our fuel trims. These are what are very useful in figuring out lean and uh, rich fault codes. This is telling us the short term trim, which is a constantly changing trim, uh, not held as a constant value, but constantly changing. Uh, due to engine parameters for bank one, which is cylinders one through three, was at 12.5% positive. That means it was adding 12.5% fuel. 
short term for bank three, which is the after cat sensor for bank one, for cylinders one through three, is 12, uh, 22.7%. And as we read down the scale for uh, bank, uh, the rest of the banks, bank two, bank three, bank four, uh, we're reading positive fuel trims all the way down. We'll look at the next page continuing positive fuel trims of pretty high levels. This happened at twenty four hundred and twenty seven RPM and the vehicle speed uh, this is set currently in kilometers per hour was 108 kilometers per hour that can be changed to miles per hour. Uh, so we can know what was going on with the vehicle. We then take all this information and do some deduction, which we'll talk about in our article on the blog on this, on how to read these, uh, this fuel trim information and what to do with it. Uh, but you can see that it's adding a fair amount of fuel. Uh, anything over 10% is a pretty good amount of fuel for a, a fuel trim. So let's go back. And now we can also read live data if we wanted to also go out and drive the vehicle to figure out what's happening during the driving as well for further information, we can go up to data stream, hit enter, ECU1, and we're going to start the engine. Now this will read the live data for the fuel trims, the oxygen sensor voltages, and so on, and we'll uh, for the moment, we'll view all items. We could uh, view only selected parameters if that was all we were concerned with. It's acquiring data. Now, we're reading actual live data right now. Uh, calculated load value, 15%. Engine coolant temperature, 57 degrees centigrade. And you can see the short-term fuel trim is changing. Right now it's actually negative, zero to negative. There's negative. So it's actually subtracting while we're at idle. If we rev the engine a little bit, and that's for bank one. Numbers change, it went even more negative there. If we look at the next page, you can see there's six pages of data. Here's page two, we have more fuel trim numbers. Now these are running generally positive on these ones. There we go, negative on a couple. So we'll, we would read this data, write it down, and come back to analyze it later on after our drive. And at idle here, we're only getting some information. Under, under driving conditions, we would have more information. And here's our RPM, our temperatures, timing advance, mass airflow sensor, uh, throttle position sensor, uh, secondary air, and uh, all the other sensors here, oxygen sensor voltages. Uh, we can actually go back and test the oxygen sensors individually. So this tool is quite useful for diagnostics. Now, We've got all of our data, we're going to write it down and then analyze it. For the moment, we'll just show you some more on this tool. We'll go back on the menus. And let's say we thought we had fixed our problem, or we're wondering if this is a current code. Is it still being generated? We can erase the codes. And yes, I'm sure I would like to erase. And it's telling me turn ignition on with engine off. Uh, and then to, uh, to continue. There we go. Hit continue. and is telling us our uh, fault code has been cleared and we're all set. Now, what we would do is then run the engine, drive, and see if the fault code reappears. Is it something we actually need to track down? 
So that's a, a very basic primer on using the uh, C Reader 6. And uh, again, going to the blog article, we will talk more about what to do with some of these values that we have in hand for further diagnostics. With that, thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget, hit your like key, send us some comments, tell us what you think, if you've got questions, what you would like to see, how you're reading your, uh, using your C Reader 6 tool, and we'd love to hear from you. We're going to go on to our next video now. You have a great day with your BMW.